Hi everybody, my name is Shirley and we're here for another virtual story time for the City of Armadale Libraries and today um, we have a special guest. Our theme is an Aboriginal theme and we're going to look at some Noongar language and I'm really really happy to say hi to Candice who's joined us for the session today. And Candice, in Noongar how would you say hello? We would say Kaya. Kaya, so Hi everybody, and we're here at the Champion Centre in the City of Armadale where a lot of programs are run for Aboriginal families and people and lots of resources here. So it's great we're in the children's area of the Champion Centre where some playgroups meet. So we're going to have some fun today with some songs and some books and learn maybe a few Noongar words that um, we wouldn't have heard before. Some of you will have and some of you won't have. So. But to start with, maybe Candice, you could do an acknowledgement for us to begin with. Okay, please. I want to first acknowledge my elders, past, present, and emerging leaders. Kaya Wangi, Nija Nyan Jiripu, Nalaka Nini, Waja Puja. Hello and welcome. I'm happy that we're all here today on Waja Country. Fabulous. Thank you very much. It's a lovely way to start. And we said hello, and now we're going to sing our opening song. No no words in this one, no. but we're going to do open, shut them. And we can do it with our hands. You might even like to try a little bit different and open and shut your eyes when you sing this song, but join in at home with us. Okay, everyone ready? One, two. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them just like this. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, blow a little kiss. Oh, let's have a little clap as well. Okay, lovely. Wow. That's all right. It's okay. Um, so storytelling is very important to the Aboriginal culture and Aboriginal people like to tell stories and sing songs and this is a way that you pass your culture down, isn't it, to... Uh, from one generation to the next. Yes, it certainly is. And would you like to tell us a bit about yourself, Candice, and uh, as you're a Noongar woman and uh, your role in the community yeah. or whatever you'd like to say? Yeah, uh, my name is Candice Hanson. Um, my family have been um, in the Armadale community for uh, 40 plus years. Um, I'm, a, I'm a local Noongar woman, uh, local to the Armadale area. I work at um, Kelmscott Senior High School as an Aboriginal and Islander Education Officer. Um, my parents are quite um, well known throughout the community for um, their work um, within the city of Armadale, doing lots of cultural um, things within the community. Um, I have five siblings, I have five children, um, nine grandchildren, and um, I have worked um, previously as well with the City of Armadale um, and um, yeah, I really enjoy it and uh, I love living here in Armadale. Lovely, that's wonderful. Thank you Candice, good to hear about your background. And so I think it's time to read a book and we've got a very special book to start off with that Candice is going to read us. This book was made in Armadale as well in 2014. It was part of a Better Beginnings pilot project called Creating Books in Communities. And we made this book with some children from the local Chalice Primary School. There was an Aboriginal class there. And the children came and did some activities, some motor skills, and took photographs and got their words. And this is the book that was created. So this is a book that comes from Armadale. So I'll pass it over to you, Candice, and I'd love you to read it for so all this of us. This is a special book, this one, because this is actually um, our own little Kurungas, and um, this, is, this is about them. And this one is called 
we are champion children or we are rich Colombians. There's all our beautiful little Kulangas here that help contribute to this beautiful little book. We like to balance, bounce and buzz. We like to crawl, catch and cooperate. And you can see them all doing the actions. We like to dance, draw and discover. We like to jump, join in and jiggle. We like to listen, leap and laugh. Laughing is good for everybody, isn't it? We like to paint, prance and parachute. I don't know if I'd like to parachute, it's a bit scary. We like to read, run and roar. We like to swim, smile and seek. Look at these beautiful smiles too. Gorgeous. But most of all, we like to feel proud and have fun with our friends. And that's the end of the story. Thank you for listening. Beautiful. A lovely community book there. Now, I thought we could try and sing a song and adapt a song that most people know. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes. Maybe we can learn the Noongar words for that song. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, the Noongar word for head is cut. cut. Can we all say cut? Cut. Cut. Kunech. Kunich. Bonich. Bonich. Jenna. Jenna. Okay, so maybe at home you can stand up and do this or just sit down so that we're still we're seeing on the camera and it's a bit easy for us. So shall we go through that again? Okay. Cut. Cut. Bonich. 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 Jenna. Jenna. Okay, shall we give it a go? <laughs> Okay, ready? One, two, we'll do it slowly. Cut, cornwich. We got it wrong. <laughs> we got it wrong, didn't we? Sorry. That was knees, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a bit of stage fright there. Sorry. <laughs> we'll try again. Okay. Cut, cornwich, cornwich, Jenna, cornwich, Jenna, cornwich, Jenna. Cut, cornwich, cornwich, Jenna, we all clap hands together. Let's keep clapping. <laughs> and the Noongar word for hand is ma. So we all clap ma together. Ma. ma. Shall we do it one more time? Okay, let's try it again. Okay, one, two. Cut, cornwich, cornwich, Jenna, cornwich, Jenna, cornwich, Jenna. Cut, cornish, cornish, Jenna, we all clap my together. Oh, big clapper. Big clapper. Oh, well done, <laughs> okay, well, we're going to have another book now. Time for another book. And lots of Nogar words in this one. It certainly I'm is. I'm going to hand that one over to you, Candice. And I'm going to do my best to translate to English as much as I know. Okay. And this one is called Nyingan Kura Yinanu. Nyinga is actually Nunga for echidna. Kura is friend. Jinanim is looking. So the echidna is looking for a friend. Nyinga Kura Jinanim. Can we just say who wrote it this time? Now this story is by Charmaine Benham and Cindy Garland. And Charmaine is actually um, a um, and actually, Auntie Cindy also. They are actually um, Nunga linguists. Oh, wow. Interesting. And these are um, Baladong stories now. And Baladong is actually um, my people as well. Yay! 
Kaning and Dabakan Kuli. Bao Kurt Wara Kurda Kadakin. The echidna is walking. He's walking away. His heart is sad. Bao Wangin. Wait, you are a fool. Nunuk Nanyan Kurda. He's asking the emu. Are you my friend? Wait, Wami. You are Kura. Chu Kura. And the Emu is saying, No, I'm not your friend. That's Shami. Wait, Muria, Jopoli. The emu is walking away. Nyon, Winyan, Yingar. The echidna is sad. The emu is not his friend. Ba Wang in Yonga. Yonga, you are cool. Nunuk Lan in Kura. So he's asking the kangaroo, are you my friend? Yonga Wangi, you are cool. And the kangaroo is saying, no, I'm not. Yonga Bokaja. Yonga, Bokaja, Barami, which means the kangaroo is hopping away. Nyon, Winyan, Yinga. He's sad. The kangaroo's not his friend either. Wouldn't you be sad if nobody wanted to be your friend? Ba Wang in Karda. You are cool. So he's asking the goema, are you my friend? Karada Wangi, you are Kura. So the goema is saying to him, no, I'm not your friend. You're, you're Kunyi. Kunyi is a, is a bit of a nasty word to say that. And the Goenna is actually walking away quickly. He's a sad animal. I wonder if he's ever going to make any friends. Spotted another echidna, a female echidna, and he's getting happy. She's pretty. Yok Wangi. Hi, I'm not Murit Nyinga. Not Nyinga, I'm Jurupin. So she's saying hello to the other echidna, who's a male, and she's actually happy. So that turned out to be a nice little oh, story, didn't it? Very happy ending. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. And there's some. Um, and there's some words in the back. This one. Uh, I think this one's a little song, but I've not heard this one before, so I don't know um, how it goes. Um, but this song relates to the to the story. Mm-hmm. And then down the back here, you've got the um, English translation. Um, which I've pretty much said already. Yeah, true, true. Um, um, and we've also got uh, some list words here for you. So you can see all the words that 
we've used in the story and the meaning for them in English down here. And how to pronounce them. And how to pronounce them. Lovely. Okay, what a beautiful book. And we found this book, didn't we, Candice, over yes, at the Seville Grove Library. The Seville Grove Library is right next door to the Champion Centre. And there is a lovely Aboriginal book collection there that uh, is accessible for all the public that just needs a library card. So some lovely resources there. So we've had a great time today listening to some Noongar words, learning some as well, singing some songs. And we um, thank you very much, Candice, for your time today. And I think we're going to do it again. We're going to have another session very soon. So we might finish off with If You're Happy and You Know It. So we're going to sing that first verse, then we're going to stamp our feet and wave goodbye. So are there any Noongar words we could incorporate in our song? Down here, down We've already done the heads and shoulders and yes. close these with the Nunga words, so mm -hmm. we could use those. Mm -hmm. um, we also can use our ma, which is our hand. So if you're happy and you know it, clap your ma. ma. Yeah. And if you're happy and you know it, you can blink your mia. Ooh. Blink your mia. Mia. Meow. 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 That's right. A bit like a cat. A bit like a cat sound. <laughs> meow. So we're going to clap our hands, blink our eyes, and then we'll wave goodbye. Shall we try it that way? Let's give it a try. Okay, so if you're happy and you know it. So the first one is hands. Okay. Meow. So we're going to clap our mark. Ma. Okay, ready? One, two. If you're happy and you know it, clap your mark. If you're European and you know it, clap your mark. If you're European and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're European and you know it, clap your mark. And the next one is going to the meow. Meow. Okay. If you're European and you know it, blink your, your meow. If you're German and you know it, blink your meow. If you're German and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're German and you know it, blink your meow. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye. If you're German and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye. If you're German and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're German and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Candace. See goodbye. you soon. Thank you for having me.